Hi guys, this video is about Newman projections. Uh, we're going to use some models and see if we can make it make a little more sense. Um, so, Newman projections are a different way of looking at a model. So, um, we're used to looking at organic compounds as line bond structures, right? We're used to seeing them as you know, a carbon skeleton. But that doesn't really tell us much about what's happening in 3D space. You know, even with those dashes and wedges, um, Newman projections show what it looks like just looking down a single carbon bond. So, Newman projections are drawn with a circle, and that circle is going to represent a specific carbon-carbon bond. Um, and all the sticks coming out of it are showing the three other bonds that those carbons can make. Uh, there are two different positions we can have. We can have a staggered conformation where all the bonds are staggered and spread out. Um, so remember, we learned in Vesper theory that electron domains like to be as spread out as possible. Um, and then there's the other version, the kind of less favorable situation called eclipsed, where all of the atoms that are attached to um, the carbons of interest are going to be overlapping and trying to inhabit the same space. So. This is a model of ethane. Uh, we have our carbons right here. So this is our carbon-carbon bond. And then I've added um, multicolored spheres here to represent the different hydrogens. Um, the colors will hopefully help us keep things straight. So the two blue ones are currently coming out at you. These would be um, the wedged uh, hydrogens if we were drawing this on paper. Um, the red ones are currently coming out at me. And the white ones, are in the same plane. These ones would be in the plane of the paper. Uh, we usually draw things like this, right? Where you have your dashes and wedges going down on one and up on the other. So now these two are coming out at you, these two are coming towards me, and then the white ones are all in the same plane. So um, this is the staggered conformation, the type that we're used to drawing with all the zigzags and everything. So if we're looking at ethane in the staggered conformation and I want to draw a Newman projection of it, I'm going to pretend that I'm actually right here. When it's on paper, you have to pretend, but with models, we can actually do it. So I'm going to pretend that I'm looking down the carbon-carbon bond, and that's going to give me this image, right? So this is actually what our Newman projection looks like when we draw it in the staggered conformation, right? So the sticks in the front are representing the white, red, and blue hydrogens here. The ones that are in the back, here, here, and here, are representing the ones that are on the carbon behind the leading carbon. So these ones right here. And remember, we're not actually drawing the carbons. Carbons one and two are being shown by that circle that's in the middle, right? So we're only showing the things that are coming off of that carbon. Um, now, if we want to look at it eclipsed, that's going to be kind of back the way we had it. You have to remember that when you're looking at an alkane and it only has all single bonds, uh, there's free rotation around those bonds. You can imagine just one carbon rotating. Um, if you're really good, I guess you could rotate both of them in your head at the same time. Um, but going from staggered to eclipsed just requires a teeny tiny turn. Um, I'm going to turn it all the way so that we get our colors all matched up. So now we have um, our blue hydrogens eclipsing each other, our red hydrogens eclipsing each other, and the white ones are eclipsing as well. So what this does is it forces these hydrogens to kind of line up their electron domains when they would prefer to spread out as much as possible. So for that reason, the eclipse conformation is going to be the less favored conformation. It's going to be a much higher energy scenario, and we know that chemicals atoms, they do everything they can to be low energy. So the staggered conformation is going to be our low energy, higher stability option. Okay, so with ethane, it's easy enough, right? We have two carbons, six hydrogens, one bond to look down. But if we make it just a little more complicated, this is just butane. I've added on two more carbons. Um, have carbon one, two, three, and four. You can actually kind of see the line bond structure in the skeleton backbone here. Um, these empty sticks are all going to be hydrogens. So we're going to do a little bit of imagining here. So
So there are a couple of things that I could ask you. I could ask you to look down the one, two carbon carbon bond. So that would be looking down the bond between the first carbon and the second carbon. So um, if we get our you know imaginary glance here, we're looking down this way. That would be turning it like this. And I want to see that staggered Newman projection. So what I'm seeing now is that I have three hydrogens on carbon number one. Behind it is carbon number two. There's two hydrogens on carbon number two. And then this ethyl group is up here as well. I have a CH2, CH3. So a correct Newman projection for butane down the one, two carbon carbon bond would look like this. So we have our three hydrogens on carbon one, which is being shown by this dot in the middle here. Directly behind it is carbon two. You have to remember that that bond that we're talking about is coming through the paper, right, towards us. Um, and then on carbon two, we have hydrogen, hydrogen, and our ethyl group, which is CH2, CH3. Okay, we can also look down a different carbon-carbon bond. We could say, okay, let's look down the 2-3 carbon-carbon bond. So you'd have to imagine your eye coming up here. Um, so that would be like this. And that would be our staggered Newman projection. So if we're looking at it now, on carbon number two, we have two hydrogens and then one methyl group, that's CH3 that's hanging out down there. And then directly behind it is carbon number three, we have two hydrogens. And then we have our methyl group coming off of it. So a correct uh, Newman projection for butane down the two, three carbon bond would be this right here. We have two hydrogens and a methyl, two hydrogens and a methyl. And of course, this is the staggered one. Um, if we were to think about it eclipsed, um, the most eclipsed form would be to go ahead and put the methyls directly on top of each other. And this is actually a really good example as to why um, the eclipsed form is going to be much less stable. Because even in the sticks um, of this model, you know, it's not a space filling model, we can't really see the electron cloud. But if we imagine the electron cloud, which we know is always much bigger than we think it is, um, these two electron clouds are trying to live in the same space. And that's going to go against everything that Vesper taught us back when we learned that in like Gen Chem 1, right? So the staggered position is going to be preferred and it's going to stagger as much as, as, much as it can. It's not just going to be, you know, the methyls going away from each other, but they're going to be directly opposite. That's going to be our favored confirmation. Um, but we do have to remember that this is just a model, right? And there's free rotation around all of these bonds. And so they're going to be going through positions all the time. The question is just, where is it going to spend its most time? Is it going to spend most of its time in the eclipsed format? Or is it going to go into the staggered conformation? So staggered is probably your safest guess. Um, if we want to make it just a little more complicated, we can add some more carbons on here. So I've turned it into two methyl pentane now. So we have our pentane carbon backbone, one, two, three, four, five. And then I have a methyl group on my second carbon. So my question now is what would the uh, Newman projection of this look like going down the two, three carbon carbon bond? And we're gonna go ahead and come up with the staggered projection. So again, I'm gonna imagine my eyes right here so I'm going to put your eyes right there. Um, and I'm going to try and stagger it as much as I can. This one's a little tricky because I have these two methyl groups here. So the methyl group is going to have to line up with this back ethyl group kind of a little bit. They're not going to be able to get fully away from each other like in opposite places. Um, but we can get it pretty close. So if we were to draw the staggered uh, Newman projection for this molecule, we would have methyl, methyl, hydrogen. Here's our two, three carbon carbon bond in that spot that we're not really drawing. And then here's carbon number four, CH2, it's a methylene group. Carbon number three is our meth, or five, sorry, is our methyl group over here. So we have an ethyl group hanging off of that back carbon. So incorrect Newman projection for this compound will look like this, where you have your CH3 groups on the front carbon, one hydrogen, 
and then you have your ethyl group and two hydrogens. Remember, you can also do this um, line bond if you would like to, where you don't have to write out the methyl groups. You just leave the stick blank. You would still have to write in the hydrogens. Um, and you could have your ethyl group as just a stick here. Okay. And that's Newman projections. Not too bad. I hope this helps.